Hello everyone, my name is Preeksha and today I am going to present about arches. So introduction, an arch may be defined as a mechanical arrangement of a wedge-shaped blocks of stones or bricks which mutually support each other and supported at the end by piers or abutments like lintels. An arch is a structure which is constructed to a span across an opening. Arches are constructed where load is heavy, span is more, strong abutment is available and where structural architecture appearance is required. Some technical terms about arches introduce the inner curve of an arch, soffit, the inner surface of an arch, extrudes and back, the external surface, uh, external curve of an arch, desires the wedge shape units forming the courses of an arch steel back the inclined or uh, splayed surface of an abutment it is prepared to receive the arch and form it springer the first visor at the springer level on either side of an arch crown the highest point of extrudes key the wedge shape units at the crown of an arch it is sometimes made of prominent made prominent by making it of a larger section and projecting it below and above the outlines of an arch abutment the end support of an arch pierce the intermediate support of an arcade springing line the imaginary horizontal line joining the two springing points span the clear horizontal distance between the support rise the clear vertical distance between the points on the intradutes and the springing line center the geometrical center of the curve of an arc ring the arc, uh, circular course form in an arch depth or height the perpendicular distance between the intradutes and extradutes pendle the irregular triangular shape form between the extradutes and the horizontal line drawn tangent to the crown haunts the lower half portion of an arch between the crown and the steel back arcade the point the arrow of an of arches supporting a wall above and being supported by piers springing point the points from which the curve of the arch springs next is uh, this is the diagram of the elements of arch which i just told then uh, classification of arches arches are classified in, according to two types shape and material Uh, according to the shapes arches are uh, classified as flat arch segmental arch semicircular arch horseshoe arch relieving arch semi elliptical arch and according to the material it is classified as stone arch brick arch and concrete arch shape according to shape first flat arch an arch a flat arch has usually the angle formed by steel backs Uh, as sixty degree with horizontal, thus forming an equilateral triangle with the intradose as base. The intradose is a flat, apparently flat, but gives a slight rise of the camber of about ten to fifteen mm per meter width of an op opening to allow for small settlements. However, the intradose is kept horizontal and flat. The uh, flat arches are used only for light loads. and for spans up to 1.5 meter segmental arch it is commonly uh, this is a common type of arch used for buildings the center of the arch lies between the springing line the thrust transfer to the abutment is in the inclined direction third semicircular arch this is the modification of the segmental arch in which the center lines of the on the springing line the shape of the arch curve is in the is of a semicircle the thrust transport to the abutment is perfectly in the horizontal direction since the steel back is horizontal fourth horseshoe arch the horseshoe arch is also called as a moorish arch and the keyhole arch it is the emblematic arch of the moorish architecture horseshoe arch can take rounded pointed or lob form the arch has the shape of the uh, horseshoe incorporating more than a semicircle such type of arch is provided mainly from the architectural considerations pointed arch it is also known as gothic arch it consists of two arches of circles meeting at the apex the 
ट्राइंगल फॉर्म में बी इक्वलैटरल और आइसोसेलियस इन द लेटर केस इट इज नोन एज लेसेंट आर्च रिलीविंग आर्च दिस आर्च इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड इधर ऑन द फ्लैट आर्च और ऑन अ वुडन लिंटल टू प्रोवाइड ग्रेटर स्ट्रेंथ द एंड ऑफ द रिलीविंग आर्च शुड बी कैरिड सफिशियंटली इन टू द एब्यूटमेंट द रिलीविंग आर्च में it possible to replace the decayed lintel without disturbing the stability of the structure semi elliptical arch the arch whose intradorse is half ellipse in practical in practice the term un, uh, usually denotes a three or five centered arch it is also known as basket handle arch then according to the materials uh, first stone depending upon the workmanship stone arches are of two types first rubel arch and second ashlar arch rubel arch rubel arch rubel masonry arch is weak and is used for inferior work this arches are made of rubel stones which are hammered dressed roughly to shape and size of vessels of the arch and fixed in the cement mortar rebel arches are up to the span of 1 meter they are used as relieving arches over wooden lintels up to the depth of 37.5 cm this arches are constructed in one ring for greater depths thickness rubel stones are laid in two rings in alternate course of headers and stretchers it is cons it consists of two uh, two arches of circle meeting at an apex second ashlar arch in this type the stone are cut to a proper shape of fissures and are fully dressed set in the lime or cement mortar with proper bend joints up to the depth of 60 cm the fissures are made of full thickness of an arch for determining the wedge shape of fissures it is preferable to set out an arch on the level platform marking on it the keystone and fissures along the radial mortar joint ashlar stone can be made used to make a flat arches in which the joints are either joggled or rebated then second brick arches brick masonry is are constructed with two different types of units the first is tapered or wedge shaped brick this bricks are tapered in the appropriate manner to obtain mortar joints of uniform thickness along the arch depth the second is uncut rectangular brick where rectangular bricks are used the mortar joints are tapered to obtain the desired arc curvature in some cases a combination of uses combination of these is used then the brick arches are of three types rough brick arch four types rough brick arch axed brick arch gauge brick arc and purpose made bricks arch third concrete arches concrete arches are of two types precast concrete blocks and monolithic concrete arches thank you